It was great acquiring it on 65 millimeter nag because it, the uh, film has such latitude to it. That is such a range in the highlights that uh, it was like a safety net. Um, and we did very minimal lighting uh, to try to keep a very natural look. And then when you take that and, and do a transfer at 8K, the image is just amazing. I'm often asked, how do you go out with an independent low-budget film and shoot 70 millimeter film? And unlike with Baraka, we, don't, we didn't print anything. We took the negative, processed it, uh, which is not expensive, and then ran it through what's called a telecine process, which, which brings it into a digital environment. And we were able to work with that, the digital proxies of, of that footage um, in the editing process. Once we had the film conformed, the final cut, we are able to then go in and scan at 8K a frame at a time, but we're only scanning the, the part that's in the film. We're not scanning everything we shot, and that's really why we're able to make it work. When we uh, finished scanning that 8K, we down that 8K, and what was unique about this project was that we had the opportunity to use uh, a state-of-the-art 4K mastering facility, Colorworks, and we were able to look at our 4K images in virtual uh, real-time assembly. It was really, I think, one of the highlights of this whole project was the ability to see these wonderful images that we had created and which we had looked at in lower res proxies. And we'd always been impressed by them. You know, we always thought they looked good. But it wasn't until we started seeing these images in 4K, it was just like we were seeing this material for the first time. And boy, we were really enjoying it. Central to the, the workflow design that that I came up with was the expectation that when this film was completed, when Samsara was completed, that we would be able to exhibit it in the newest digital cinema format, uh, which is 4K cinema. Scanning at ultra high resolutions yielded an amazing end result that in many ways surpassed film and even surpassed 70 millimeter presentations and we've done side by side analysis. Uh, bottom line is all the benefits of shooting in the larger negative are end up embedded into the digital file and the great benefit of it is that everybody gets this exact same sort of first generation file to view uh, regardless of where they are. 70 millimeter prints just get hammered in the real world and, and we had a lot of that experience with Barack. I'd, I've been through that and this is going to get the best looking presentation to the most number of people. Essentially what you see in Samsara is what Ron and Mark wanted to capture and did capture. Uh, it's, so often uh, I get people who have seen the film, they'll say to me, is this a special effects shot? Is that a model that you're shooting there? No, the point is that those unique images were all created in the camera. That, that was all the real world. <laughs>